Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Greeting to you all, our viewers, wherever you are, in the precious name of Jesus. This is another glorious day, and I'm glad to tell you that God will bless you in this message as I'm going to share it in the precious name of Jesus. The benefit in the obedience to the word of God are so great. And by the help of the Holy Spirit, this day, I'll be sharing a message tied to obedience benefits. Obedience benefits. God is a good God. And in following the guidance and instruction of God, it has a lot of bountiful benefits. Let me just quickly read this passage. Before we move on from there, Deuteronomy chapter 28, the passage of blessings. And I'm sure you're going to be blessed right now in the name of Jesus. As this word is coming to you, Genesis chapter 28, I mean, chapter 28, I want to read a very long verse, verse 3 to 8 of the chapter. Blessed shall thou be in the city. And blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. First five. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Your account shall be blessed. Your life shall be blessed. Your store shall be blessed. I believe somebody is saying amen. Now look at verse 6. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. Verse 7. The Lord shall cause the, the enemy that rise against thee to be smitten before thy face, they shall come out against you one way and flee before these seven ways. Wonderful. That's wonderful. I'm going to talk about it. All right. Verse 8. The Lord shall command the blessings upon thee in thy storehouses and in all that thou settest thy hand unto and he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Hallelujah. That's wonderful. God is a good God. He loves to bless his people. One of the great nature of God is to bless people. And I'm glad to tell you that as you are, as you are listening and view this message right now, the blessing of the Lord is coming upon you. How do I know this? Even from Genesis, when you observe from the beginning of the world unto Revelation, the word blessing and blessing and blessing came off to and off to. The Bible says, and the Lord blessed Noah, and the Lord blessed Abraham, and the Lord blessed Isaac. And the Lord blessed Jacob. And God blessed Joseph. The same thing with many, 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 many great men and women in the Bible. And here in our generation, God is still in the business of blessing his people. And I'm glad to declare to you by the grace of God, your life shall be blessed in the name of Jesus. As you are hearing this message right now, whatever you lay your hands upon, whatever step you are taking in a godly way to be successful in life, I declare the bless in the name of Jesus Christ. But listen to this. If the message say the benefits in obedience, obedience is a great key that open doors of blessings I'm talking about. Obedience is the master key 
for the opening of heavenly blessings upon the life of everyone. Obedience will make you to enjoy the blessings you don't labor for. Obedience will make the labor of your hand to be greatly blessed beyond what you expect. Obedience will make you to be a blessed among the living soul on this earth. Somehow, somebody might be saying, what of those unbelievers who don't obey God, who don't do the will of God? Yeah, not everything you call blessing, that is a blessing. Somebody might have money, but not blessed. So not everybody that have money that, is, that are blessed. The blessings, the Bible said, the blessing of God make it rich and had it no sorrow. So when we are talking about the blessing of God, I'm talking about a kind of blessings that you have a satisfaction in God himself. You have a peace, you have a satisfaction in God that it's not about the wealth of this world, but I am so blessed because God is in my life. I am so blessed because I have Christ Jesus. That's a big blessing. Greater than what the money can offer or anything. And when you have Jesus, of course, he will bless you as well financially. Because his word said, it's going to bless your store. It's going to bless what you lay your hands upon. But the master key I'm talking about here is obedience. So therefore, that somebody already gave life to Jesus. That is his first stage. And at the same time, you need to go to the level of making obedience your character, your attitude. Somebody can be in Christ Jesus and close the door of the blessing because of the lack of obedience attitude. They love to disobey. He don't want to respect anybody. He don't want to respect any pastor. He don't respect what anybody is saying. The blessing's door will be closed. I'm glad to declare in the name of Jesus, as you are hearing this message, may your heaven for blessings never be closed again. In the mighty name of Jesus. So here I'm talking about obedience benefits. So let me quickly tell you some benefits in obedience so that you can get what I'm trying to talk about. When you observe from the beginning of this passage we read, you can understand better what I want to talk about. So number one I want to talk about that is, blessing shall come upon thee. It shall come upon thee. It is one thing to be chasing blessing here and there. It is another thing for blessing to look at you. It is one thing to be running after blessing. It is another thing for blessing to look at you. Some people are running after blessing, and some people the blessing look at them. The difference between them is what I'm talking about here. And I declare in the name of Jesus, you may view it right now. Blessings shall locate you wherever you are in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, what we make, what, are, what is the first benefit of the blessings I'm talking about is that the blessing itself will locate you in your land, wherever you are, because heaven will open. And that will be your testimony soon. Now, if you observe in the book of that, Deuteronomy chapter 28, we have read, when you read verse 1 to 2 of the chapter, it said, If thou we hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord thy God, and do according to what he has told you. That is, if you will absolutely obey him, then these blessings shall come upon you as a condition. You need a blessing, go for obedience. You, you refuse obedience, you close the door. May your door of blessings never be closed in the name of Jesus. 
When we talk about shoes obedience for blessings to locate you, it's in different, different kind of way. Probably you've been living your life whichever way you like. They preach to you, come to Jesus, give your life to Jesus. Oh, come to church. You don't have time. Every day you say, I'm just busy. I'm walking. I'm very busy. I'm walking. I don't have time, pastor. I'm very busy. Okay, go and check. How much do you have in your account? You don't have anything. Because you are pursuing the blessing without the author of blessing, God Almighty. So therefore, the more you run after the blessing, the more the blessing run away. You want to enjoy the benefit of the obedience. Then you must obey. Choose to obey God. Absolutely. Choose to obey God. You will see things will change. Choose to obey God. You can be a Christian. You can be anybody. Can be a pastor, can be a prophet, can be an apostle, can be a bishop. It doesn't matter what is your position. If you don't choose obedience, it might be a problem. Not just it might. That's a big problem. Because the more you disobey God, the more struggle continues. The more you disobey God, the more life will be hard. So in obedience in God, you see the miracle you don't even expect come and locate you. Someone is hearing me right now. Blessings will locate you. Miracles will locate you. You will have a testimony this month. This same month, God will surprise you. In the name of Jesus. That's what you have been struggling for a long time for. That's what you have been running after. That's what you have been pursuing. And it seems it's possible. As God Almighty Liver, now that you are hearing this message, it shall locate you in the name of Jesus. Very, very important. You give your life to Jesus. You see God has opened the heaven for blessing. You follow him. You serve him. You see God open the heaven for blessing. He gave you instruction. You follow him. He will see God open his heaven. You're in the church. And God is telling you, you pay your tithe and offering. You say, I'm not going to pay. Don't mind that pastor. Pastor, whatever you want to do. To be a blessing. I obey God by make obedience your choice. God is committed to it. Number two, number two benefits of blessings I want to talk about. I mean, blessings of obedience I'm talking about is God will fight your battle for you. The battle you are facing is not yours. You don't have ability to conquer the devil. If you want to conquer the devil, you don't have it. Only God can conquer the devil for you. The greatest enemy of every human being is Satan. The one who conquered our great father and mother in the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve. So, therefore, there's no human being just have ability to overcome them. Those demons without God. It is with you to overcome the devil. It is God with you to stop any harassment of the enemy. And if you want God to be with you, one of the most important things is have the attitude of obedience. Let obedience become your nature, your own daily attitude. How do I know that? When you read the book of Exodus chapter 23, Exodus chapter 23, when you read verse 22 of the chapter, it says, if, you, that, if thou obey, and follow him, follow the instruction, and do what he has tell you to do. He said, I go will be enemy to your enemy. I will fight those who will fight you. So you don't need to be fighting the enemy. You don't need to be worried about the enemy. You need to understand that you just need to get attitude of obedience. If you love to obey, leave the battle for God. You will have easy Victory without fighting. Easy victory without fighting. But God say, don't do that one. And then you, that is the one you want to do. God, you need to understand, you know, my weakness. Then continue to fight the battle yourself. It will give chance for the enemy to be fighting you. But if you want to have a victory, you want to see God on your side, 
fighting the battle. When you sleep, fighting for you. When you are walking, fighting for you. When you are at home, when you are eating, when you don't know anything that's going on, go fighting, pulling down your enemy. Then obedience must be your nature. Love to obey God. God said, now, don't eat, fast, and pray. Oh, <laughs> But I big talk. <laughs> God, I cannot be a dad. You need to understand. No. Just obey. He will fight your battle. God told you, tomorrow, make sure you're in the church. <laughs> God, you know, last night we are so busy in there. We, we, got, we have a party and then now I need to sleep. <sighs> all right, all right. Watch out. When the enemy will appear, who will defend you? When the battle will be very hard, who is going to fight for you? This is very important. If you will make God, the almighty God, your defense, learn to have the attitude of obedience. You obey, you become a conqueror. You obey, you become a victorious person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, go here. He said, God, you need to understand. This is not the way. That way is not good. I'm sorry, God. Next time. Then you go to another place. When you are being tortured there, harassed by any demon or any devil, you can never see God fighting for you. Just follow him. Just go the way he sent you. Then you will see God in action. Don't choose your own will. Love the will of God. You will fight your battle. It's a mistake that so many people have made on earth. Not only unbelievers, even so-called Christians, even we so-called ministers of God. Many times, when God say, this is the way, he say, no, I'm not going that way. I'm not going that way. A, a poor prophet in the Bible, God say, don't go that way. He say, that's where I'm going. Until, until an animal an animal become a messenger to deliver the message of God to him. May that never be your portion. The animal, the donkey, look at him and say, come on, prophet, what happened to you? Don't you see this vision? You must be foolish. Why are you beating me? You don't see this angel in the front? That's a prophet. He doesn't see the angel anymore. He used to see the angel before. But... Disobedience removed the sight. May that never be your portion. May that never be our portion in Jesus' name. Well, in conclusion, I'm going to round up right now. And obedience will bring goodness and pleasure to you. Obedience benefit. Goodness and pleasure. What is goodness and pleasure? That is, every good thing you desire, you will enjoy it. If you make obedience your attitude, it doesn't matter how long it's delayed to come or whatever. As long as you just choose a life of obedience, everything you desire in the law shall be delivered to you. Love to obey him. How do I know? When you read the book of Isaiah chapter 1, Isaiah chapter 1, when you read verse 19 of the chapter, the Bible says, if they are willing and they will obey. They shall eat the goodness of the land. In your land, there is a goodness. Just obey God. In every land, there is a certain goodness. Just obey God. God say, all right, don't be in Simbu City. You need to be in Cagayan. Uh, no, God. Cagayan is very small. Simbu is very big. I love a big place. I can move here. And, okay, okay. You just go there and waste your time, waste your life. Obey the goodness of the land shall locate you. May your land be filled with goodness in the mighty name of Jesus. Goodness and pleasure. Job chapter 36 verse 11. Job chapter 36 verse 11. He said, if they will obey and they will serve God, if they will obey and serve God, some of us, many times God say, they serve me. You look for excuse. You look for one way to defend yourself. 
<laughs> you know, I wish to serve. I wish to come to the practice. I wish to come to this. I wish to come to that. You keep on wish, but you don't take any step. Until Satan give you another worldly things to be doing. And then you miss what God has in plan for you. He said, if they obey and they are willing and they will obey, if they will obey and they will serve him. He said, they will enjoy their life in pleasure. They will enjoy. I'm sure my viewers, you want to enjoy God. You want to enjoy the goodness of God. Obey him, continue to serve him. It's for your own benefit. When you are serving him, when nobody recognizes you, when nobody says thank you to you, continue, continue. For in obedience, you have a benefit of goodness and pleasure. In conclusion, every disobedient people will never have place in heaven. Take note. Everyone that disobeyed the word of God in this world, we have their portion in hellfire. That is not a good place. You don't need to reach hellfire before you can realize what God has sent me to you. This is the time to believe, accept, and obey. Obey God as he's giving instruction to you now. Because obedience will take you to heavenly home. May you never miss it in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for you. Maybe you heard this word. Maybe somehow you have some sins you have been committing. Or you don't give your life to Jesus yet. Somehow you have totally lost, missed the road. Be in a wrong religious. Be in a wrong path. And you want to say, I am sorry, Lord. I have decided to come back home. There is still a chance now because you don't know when Jesus is going to come back. So right now, pray this prayer with me. Pray this prayer with me wherever you are. Say with me, Jesus, thank you because you love me. You send your word to me. I believe your word, and now I surrender my life to you. Come into my life. Forgive me all my sin. Jesus, you are my Lord and my Savior. Amen. Father in heaven, I give you all the glory for the life of every precious viewers of this message. Lord, as I have delivered the one you have sent me to your people, I declare your grace upon everyone, the grace to obey your word, that each and every one of us will never become disobedient children in your hand, that we will all obey you and have our joyful home with you at the end of our life. We receive that grace now. Let that grace be released now. Receive that grace now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father. Bless every viewers. You know them. You know their number of the house. You know what they are passing through. Touch them. Do miracle in their life. Let them have a good testimony. For the glory of your name. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Wow. I believe you are blessed. <laughs> I am blessed. And I believe you are blessed as well. So please keep this word of God on your daily living in life. Always maintain obedience with God. And God will defend you and bless you and make you excel in Jesus' mighty name. And at the end, in heaven, where we are going, you will never miss it. In Jesus' name. Thank you so much for being viewers, for being part of this. Please, my viewers, always remember to view our program here. Also to view on our YouTube, Apple for God's Glory. And to visit our website, Apple Christian Dancers. We love you. And Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.